Alex and I'm Desiree Lopez, thank you for joining us. It's a beloved landmark to many here in the valley. You might recognize this mammoth orange sitting along Highway 99. It's gone through some tough times through the years. Now, a local group is working to return it to its glory days, but they can do it alone. Here to let us know about the important restoration project and how you can get involved is Michelle Piscina, director of the Fossil Discovery Center. Welcome, Michelle. How are you? Fine, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Michelle, first of all, this is not your typical orange. It really isn't. No. Tell me the history behind this. Well, it's definitely a piece of Americana. Uh, there were a variety of these types of structures up and down the highway in the 40s, 50s, 60s. Uh, it's called programmatic um, arch uh, architecture. And they had giant lemons, giant bottles of milk, uh, giant, uh, and this, a giant orange, other types of things, up and down the highway to serve the people traveling, because McDonald's really hadn't taken hold. So this is where people stopped and traveled. So it was one to, of those places that people will find along the highways, right? Yes, yes. But it's so interesting because the shape, it's an orange. Right. It's a, okay, and then once it's restored, Tell me a little bit about that. Well, uh, we decided to rescue it from the uh, Chowchilla um, yard, community yard. We bought it at our fossil discovery center. And uh, we call it a mammoth marriage, and I'll explain that. Uh, in 1993, uh, the uh, Columbia mammoth tusk was discovered at the Fairmead landfill. So we have a lot of Ice Age animals on display, and it's a very nice uh, facility. Well, then we heard about the mammoth orange deteriorating. We thought it would be a match to uh, rescue that. So the mammoth tusk was rescued, and now we're rescuing the mammoth orange. Okay, and then what are people going to be able to find there? Well, at the center, of mm -hmm. course, as I mentioned, the Ice Age animals, and we have a lot of things for people to mm -hmm. do. But they will find this uh, b uh, mammoth orange being restored by our local ro rotaries. They're in partnership, the Chowchilla Rotary, the Madeira Sunrise Rotary, and Madeira Rotary uh, decided to work with us to restore this uh, mammoth orange. And Michelle, why is it important to restore such a piece like the giant orange? Well, I'm one of those believers in having uh, pieces of the past uh, saved. Americana, this would definitely represent. Mm -hmm. And it's a value to the people of the area, which many are thrilled to hear about it, because it brings back memories, but it al also was a definite part of the highway system going through the valley. Exactly. And we could see some images on the screen there. That's how it looked before. Look at that. It's like a timeless piece yes. here in the Central Valley. And I'm pretty sure once it's restored, it's just going to bring back so many beautiful memories for many people. Indeed. That's what we've been told. Okay. Now tell me about the fundraiser coming up this Friday. Okay. This Friday, we're having uh, one of our last major fundraisers, but we really still need uh, more monies. Our fundraiser will have uh, music and food and a silent auction, and it's from 6 to 8 at the Fossil Discovery Center. Yeah. Uh, as far as uh, monies uh, go, we have the Caglia family that operates the Fermi Landfill, and they're going to be matching the proceeds with $5,000. Oh, wow. So we're very excited about that. But there is the uh, Mammoth Orange GoFundMe site. Mm -hmm. Go look under Mammoth Orange, and we would love to have more donations. Uh, we're probably about 70%, I think, on some of your slides. You can see uh, some of the restoration efforts. About 70% there. We have a little ways to go before our huge occasion, which will be October 10th, 2020. And we're going to have our 10th anniversary celebration for the Fossil Discovery Center. It's been there 10 years. And then we're going to, of course, uh, have a celebration for the opening of the Mammoth Orange. It's going to be such an exciting celebration, yes. that is, for yes. sure. Okay, now once it's restored and ready to go, Michelle, where is it going to be located? It's right there uh, as like a major exhibit on the property of the Fossil Discovery Center, right off the highway, Avenue 21 and a half at the center. And we need to talk about those big burgers, right? Yes. Okay, that's like a historic well, <laughs> thing. Right. We're going to have a competition for that. In fact, anyone listening to this that really wants to get involved as a vendor to compete, yeah. uh, that's where we will be getting a vendor. And uh, we will want a delicious hamburger and probably the orange drink. 
Because they, okay, this orange, before um, it closed down, it was known for a special orange drink, right? Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we like to, some of those things pass with time. If yeah. everyone has a secret recipe out there, <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. But um, we, uh, we will try to strive to have very good food and have a good reputation as well. It's gonna be such a great thing. I just, because I go back to the images because it's just a timeless piece, like I said. Because yes. look at those images. Like, it's just, it opened up for the first time when, Michelle? Uh, it's, it's, it's approximately circa, we say, 19, the 1950s. And uh, like I said, with time, and I mentioned mm -hmm. uh, uh, chains such as McDonald's, those fast food chains started taking over, and these types of things started fading out. They weren't able to be competitive any longer. But I feel like now people are always lo looking for a unique place to eat, especially yes. when you're traveling, you're being a tourist, you want to try something new. And right. I feel like this place is going to be that exact location, Well, right? that's what we see, the Mammoth Match. Mm -hmm. We see the people coming to visit the mm -hmm. Columbia Mammoth Ice Age Animal and having a treat when they're there too. That's that's our dream. And right off 99, I think it'll really work for uh, everyone traveling Definitely. it. Definitely. Michelle, thank you so much for being with us.